the interest here is our relationship with Capital Law um, and looking at the best advice possible for Welsh businesses as they start managing their intellectual assets. And I don't think you can have an appreciation of IP enforcement issues without understanding the work of the Patents County Court. So we're very much looking forward to uh, Judge Burns's lecture this evening. Well, that's actually delighted to come because coming up to Cardiff is really visiting familiar territory for me. Um, because when we first started the business, we had premises in Cardiff. And of course, because of all the patent enforcement and litigation that I've done, my path crossed with Colin Burses several times. This was no plan. I didn't sort of wake up one day and think, I want to be an inventor, how do I do it? It just sort of happened. Life takes you in different directions. But because it wasn't planned, um, I had no background. Nobody in my family had been in business. So it's a story of how I became an inventor how I took my products from concept to the marketplace. And it's really a story of how an individual with a good idea and really very, very limited resources can be successful in the world of intellectual property. What I'm going to talk about is, is what we're doing in the Patents County Court in London, um, which is all about trying to um, really improve access to justice for, for small and medium-sized enterprises in, in IP cases. That, that's, that's really what the PCC uh, is there to do and that's what I'm going to be trying to explain a bit more to the, to the audience about. We think that if you're going to have a trial, the parties to that trial should give honest disclosure, should make disclosure of, of the documents they have uh, which are relevant to the case before they get to trial so that you can see what the relevant documents are. The reason we think that's a good thing is because we think it stops people telling lies. And the most common thing, as I'm sure any of you who've been involved in the law will know, is witnesses know their right to start with and tell a story based on the, the knowledge and their absolute certainty that they're right, and what they explain isn't actually what happened at all because they've started from the position that they know they're right and they've forgotten what really happened, and that's very common. 